Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so I just saw the um, Nintendo Direct a few hours ago. Um, so I had the indie indie world. Um, and the Nintendo Direct partners. Um, I didn't know about the partners thing until I actually watched the um, video because I didn't want, I wasn't online when I got up because I didn't want to see any news on it. I didn't want to hear anything on it, so I kind of went social media blackout. Until I watched it, and which I did watch it, guys. And the first part was the indie world. Um, indie world itself, it has a that's about three games, I think. Let me have a look. I've got videos on the side of me, so I can actually talk about it as I play it. But yeah, there was one named what was Nevia, which is a good one. There's another one called Phones of the Watchworld DLC. Um, that doesn't look too bad. I'm I'm into those like older style RPGs, which this one definitely fits. What else was there? There's a lot of. There's another one that uh, reminds me of Feel, which looks really good. It's a bit gross in the disgusting department. But it looks kind of good. Um, called Moss, I think it's called Moss. Most, most um, I'm not good with names, okay? Sue me. And that's it. There was only three things, guys, out of the whole indie world thing that I actually considered. That's it, three. Um, that is pretty bad, actually. But then again, I'm not really into the indie world, guys. I do like playing some indie games. There's still some I've got to play. Um, I think um, Meat Boy is one of them I actually want to play at some point. There's a few hours, um, but yeah, I just want to talk a bit about the indie world. I mean, it wasn't the well, most exciting one in the world. Um, so the first one looks really good. It looks like an old style. Like, I don't know if it's a if it's supposed to be a like mesh first type of world or if it's just the world bouncing around. We didn't really show much of the gameplay. It just showed us like a minute or two, if that. To be honest, I think it was longer than like thirty seconds. But either way, it looks decent. I'll be definitely keeping an eye on it, guys. Also, um, this will this video will be me talking about the direct and also what I usually do today. So I was probably a better off doing both at the same time. Um, so I really talk about the indie. Like I said, there wasn't there anything exciting. Exciting. So guys, I'm seem to be talking a bit faster than I should be. I should be pacing myself a little bit. Um, as you can see, guys, my green screen is still not back. I'm hoping tomorrow we get a staple gun to get that sorted out. And then we can have it back on. Um, it's not really badly broken. It's not. It's not like it's uncomfortable. The strap they have, guys, is just very. It's very weak, and a little bit of weight off it just causes it to snap. So I hope I can just get a um, we call it stapler gun. Um, shoot a few, about maybe a two or three staplers per strap. And that should hold it in permanently. Um, as long as another cat doesn't sleep on it and breaks it. Now you probably see a cat on the side of me. And, oh, L on the right side of this window. Um, yep. We've got him over there. Um, he's not very, he's not very helpful when you're trying to make a bed. I mean, I couldn't do a proper job of my bed because he was sleeping on it. And every time I just tried to kick him off, he was back on it in about two seconds. So I gave up. I just done a semi job. At least it looks decent, guys. I mean, my bed definitely needs some love because it's you know, a lot of the stuff on there is pretty ancient, except for the mattress. The mattress is okay. I like the pillows and the juniors and all that shit. Kind of needs to upgrade a bit of um, replacement. Um, my room, guys, I'll explain. My room's a pretty dark room. There's like one small, probably our smallest window. That's it. That's all I get from natural light. Um, and it's shut a lot of the time because the problem is um, in the mornings, the sun shines right in because it's right where the sun rises. So it's a bit annoying. That's why sometimes when you see me, it, it gets dark. Like, it's not too bad now, but sometimes it gets real dark. If it gets real dark, guys, it means it's doing this rather with no light, or it's really late in the afternoon or something, and there's not enough light coming through the window. I gotta get like a ring thing up here, maybe across the screen or something, just that. Get some extra light. Once I get that, that should be much more improvement than what we've got now. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. There's nothing else really going on at the moment, guys. I'm still in the same position I was about a week, week and a half ago. Um, I am actually starting to commit a bit more, so... Um, what's today? Well, yeah, guys, today's my day off. I don't need to go to the gym at all, so that's the only reason I can do so many videos today. I did a few. Um, hopefully tomorrow we should be back to normal. Hopefully nothing too um, traumatic will come out. Yeah, I don't think anything really bad coming out, so I think it's just going to be my normal let's play, the two games I play. I'm not going to go into the details of the second one, but the normal, normal Minecraft one is actually going to require some love, because I've got to do some fixes on the realms. And, um, 
Yeah, that's about it, really. The Minecraft farm and the let's play. You have a let's play on your end. I wasn't. I wasn't going to say it, but I think I will put the name out of it since people are probably come here to watch. Um, and that is going to be the um missions of Manor. So I'll be playing that on my um let's play channel, guys. So if you don't know what that is, so this chapter two five six plays. I was going to make it chapter two five six let's plays, but it seemed unnecessarily long. So change it there. Okay. Now we're going to talk about the um Nintendo Direct. So I know what the story was really want to hear. I know this is why you're here. It's the only reason, it's the only reason we're here. There was a few good games. A lot of RPGs, I noticed. Um, sorry, guys. It's easy. Now, let's have a look. I just want to see what games. All I did, guys, is I did a stream of it. I mean, I took the good parts of the game, some of the games I was more interested in. And made a small video out of that, and I'm just looking at it now. So we've got um, Tetris. Now, Tetris, it's a thing, guys. But Tetris was a funny thing to me. When I, when I was younger, like the NES, if you need to know, era, maybe just before Nintendo 64 started becoming, came out, I hate Tetris. I couldn't stand it. I think it was the dumbest game in the history of games, and yet it took the world by storm. These days, I still don't like Tetris, okay? But, there is a bat. I don't hate it. And I do understand that appeal to it, why people are playing it. I actually play it every so often, so it's not like a game I would never play. Um, but it was something I, want, I was looking for. It's got the whole collection, so it's got many different Tetris games. Um, I also believe the NES version is coming out on the Nintendo Switch um, virtual console. So, yeah, I thought that was just something to bring up. Um, what else was there? There was just some other game. There's one game I forgot its name. I can get to the end. Star Overdrive, that's what it's called. I can't read the text because of the way it's done it. But yeah, now that one's an interesting one because it's kind of different, but I couldn't agree. So you're on, I think you're on some sort of alien world with a, like a hovercraft or a hover. Basically, I think it's stealing ideas from the Back to the Future because Marty had the um, hoverboard and this basically has a hoverboard which you can use to travel and you can use it as a weapon. It looks kind of interesting, but I don't know if I'm going to play it, guys. Now, it's also the last few games for RPG, more base or JRPG, depends how you look at it. And the one I'm looking at right now, I don't remember its name. I'll just get to the end of it. Oh, goodness gracious. It's one of those games. I can't even read it because the writing's so bad. Uh, so it looks really good, guys. It's a nice, um, good graphics detail. The animation looks really well done. I don't know about the music because it's it's only um trailer, so I can't. And I don't know how much of it's actually real, so I think this will get a lot of guys playing it for some reason. I think we all know the reason for that, guys. The guys won't be playing it because it's a um, good game or anything. They'll be playing it because they're perps. That's what I think will happen. Oh, I'm definitely going to buy it at some point. Um, there are a few other games there and there. Some games that I'm really interested in, um, like the, I think it was, um, I remember the name of it, was it Dragon Quest 2 Remake? Is that, I think it was. Um, give me my name. I'm terrible at remembering them all. Also, one of the big ones I want to talk about before, I think, yeah, before we finish this up, is Castlevania. Now, I have played Castlevania. I've played it multiple times on the NES, and I think I've played it on the Nintendo a few times. I have not played a whole lot of collection. I have not played, like, from one to wherever it ended. Um, but so I have watched the one on um, Netflix a fair bit. So I actually enjoy the animation on that because it's very, um, for an anime, it's pretty um, gory, if you know what I mean. There's a lot of blood and death and cats all over the place. So yeah, I like that kind of game. Um, but Castlevania is the game itself. I like Castlevania, guys. I just haven't played. As much as I should probably, I probably should play. I play a whole collection. So if they've got this Castlevania collection, which I think you should do it, I think it's out now. Um, when I ever get my Switch fixed, which I will, I'll mind you, I will get it fixed. I just haven't had the money to do it. Um, that's gonna be one of the games we're gonna get. And I could do a whole stream just going from one to the end. Um, that will take a few, quite a while to do, but we could do it. I think it'll be very exciting for everyone because um, I'm not good at Caspinia, but especially the early ones because they die a lot. That's when um, save states were really useful because you can just... I had the tendency, guys, what I used to do is when I get to an area, a new area, I'll still save state, and then that's it. 
If I die in the same if the whole area and I lose all my men, I'll just reset this they stay safe from the beginning of that world. I try not to cheat too much, but sometimes you need to because the games back then didn't have any way of saving or they're really bad at it. So some kind sometimes you really need to do it. Most games these days are much better at saving, so you don't really need to use it at all. But yeah, that's up to you guys. Um all right, I think I'm gonna finish up because I have been talking for about ten minutes, I say. Um, I was actually pretty happy with this, guys. I think this Nintendo Direct was really good. Yeah, so about 10 minutes, 10 minutes and 30 seconds. I'm actually surprised that I got it right. Um, I reckon it was good. Could have been better, yes, because there was no Nintendo first-party games. There was no console news. Everyone knows about the Switch 2 is on its way, and I'm pretty excited about that. There's also PlayStation 5 Pro on its way, and rumour about um, a new handle, handheld. This time, the rumor is it's not like a portal, so it's not a PlayStation portal, it's an its own little thing. That'll be nice to do. I'm assuming that's the copying of Steam, what it's used, and many others, Nintendo Switch, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty excited about all what's going on at the moment. I'm pretty happy with Nintendo for the most part. I'd like to know a bit more on the Switch 2. Maybe I'll talk about it before the Switch 2 actually comes out, or... I won't be surprised if there's another direct in a few weeks, or maybe one or two months. But yeah, I'm pretty happy, guys. Now, I am a bit tired, because I've been a bit running around a bit, so... Yeah, on that note, I'm going to finish it up. Um, I do have a stream plans on for Friday. There is a game I want to look at, and they've done, like, a whole gameplay for about 55 minutes on Monday, I think it was IGN. So, I'm going to, have, I'm going to go through there with you guys for the stream. Um, I think it was called ARA History Untold. I like those type of um, those games, like Sit of Fascination, if I can pronounce the damn thing. I'm going to get number seven of that one. And, yeah, so that's basically what's going on, guys. I'm happy with it. I'm going to have to get my Switch fixed very soon. I do have a big payment coming in early November. So while you do have that, I'm going to send it back, come the fucking fix it, and... Be done with it. and when I get it back guys I am going to be basically sticking taping it together so it doesn't fall off. Um it's not so much here's the thing I never really really took the game out for the console out of the stuff but never left it. Ninety probably about ninety five percent of the time it was inside the um dock because I did the videos in order. I can't do that if it's if it's not in dock. So yeah anyway guys I'm gonna finish it here. I hope you guys I'll see you probably Friday. Um, for this channel at least, I've got to do some fixing up on OBS because I don't know if you guys saw the live stream. It was a tragic start because I did not have the OBS running pro pro properly. Um, apparently one of the controllers were missing, and that was my mic. So that's why I can see the mic doing its job on the OBS, but it wasn't going through. Um, so I'm going to fix them up probably actually after this, and probably after I have something to eat. Um, I was supposed to do Minecraft tonight, guys. I'm taking Minecraft off tonight because I just want to get all these videos uploaded and all that. Tomorrow we'll be back to normal, and hopefully um, I may or may not do that Minecraft tomorrow, maybe a bit earlier. I don't know. Depends how I feel. On that note, guys, we're finished. Cheers.